Anybody else yet? Yes. Well, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for coming uh, here on relatively short notice. Uh, today, uh, Amazon announced that the Toronto region is one of the 20 locations on the short list for Amazon HQ2. Uh, this is good news for our city, it's good news for the region, it's good news for the province, and I think it's great news for Canada. I'm so proud of this city and how we have uh, continued to stand out on the world stage to an increasing extent as time has gone on. I'm incredibly proud of our bid, which was very much a team effort involving not just the Government of Canada, the Government of Ontario, but all of the uh, cities in this region. And I think the world has taken note of the incredible growth and success that is taking place in this part of the world. We are on this list, and I think it is well worthy of noting, we're on this list without offering any tax breaks or financial investments. What we offered instead was an investment in people. Our bid made the bold decision to highlight the province's commitment to dramatically increase our investment in STEM education and AI graduate students. And again, I commend the province of Ontario for having the foresight and the courage to help us by making that investment, which will pay dividends regardless of the outcome of this competition for many, many years to come. These investments will be made in people regardless of whether Amazon opens a headquarters here or not, because we believe in building on our greatest strength here in Ontario and here in Toronto, and that is our educated, diverse, and inclusive workforce. The Toronto region has emerged as a global center of innovation and technology because of our talented and diverse and inclusive workforce, and we need even more of that talent to fuel what is a great growth in something that's going to drive our economy in the years to come. We have incredible homegrown success stories here, and Amazon would further accelerate our success without jeopardizing any of what we've achieved to date by investing more than $5 billion in construction and creating as many as 50,000 good jobs. We're excited to have this opportunity and to be able to tell Toronto's unique story. There is no other place in North America that can boast the same talent, the same quality of life, the same vibrancy, the same economic strength. Toronto is a place where people want to live, and I am dedicated to making sure that our quality of life keeps getting better and better, because it is, and will continue to be, and must continue to be, a competitive advantage. And that is why we're investing in transit expansion and state of good repair with the government partners and the other governments. It's why we're moving forward on affordable housing, parks, active transportation. We're working hard to elevate our reputation as a livable, affordable city where everyone is welcome and where everyone has a chance to succeed. We have moved forward, and I'm confident that we won't stop moving forward. And that is why companies like Sidewalk Labs want to be here. They picked Toronto, and why companies like Amazon are looking at locating here. Who wouldn't want to be part of this amazing city? Last year I said, and I said it with confidence because we've got the substance to back it up, that I would put the Toronto region up against any city or any city region in North America as the place for ambitious, forward-looking companies looking for a home. I sort of look at today, and we've been getting pretty good at this recently, at, uh, as, as a day on which we made the playoffs. Uh, but get, making the playoffs is a great accomplishment, but now we're still a long way from the prize, and there's a lot of hard work ahead. I'm glad that Amazon agrees that Toronto is worthy of further consideration, and I look forward to working with Toronto Global, with the governments of Canada and Ontario, and with all of the mayors and all of the cities in this region to go through the bidding process in the coming months and to put our very best foot forward as we've been doing all the way along. And I will continue to do whatever I can. I'll do this every single day inside and outside of the Amazon process to bring good, secure jobs to Toronto because that is as crucial as anything else in achieving all of the success I referred to earlier. So I'm uh, happy now to answer your questions on this or other things uh, on your mind. Mayor, you 